when you disrespect God in the way you live, you are displeasing God, who is the king of your life. And by that way, you are destroying your royalty with your own very hands. Praise God. You are destroying your royalty when you are no more pleasing the king of king anymore. When he calls you, when he calls, you don't hear. When he calls, you are busy. When he calls, you are not available. When he calls, you don't have his time. You are too busy with the world than what he has put in your hands. You are about to lose it. Return before things turn. Not in your favor. And what happened to Vesti? It was a terrible thing. They came to a conclusion in Esther chapter 2 and verse 4. Esther chapter 2 and verse 4. This is the conclusion. And let the median which pleased the king be queen instead of Vesti. Did you see it there? Yes, Esther 2 and verse 4. And let the median which pleased the king be what? Queen. Instead of, I've told you before, you are changeable, you are replaceable, and you are removable. I'm talking to everybody now, not just women. Yes, Praise God. Yes. You, are, you are changeable, replaceable, and you are removable. So your focus, your worthiness has to be towards him who is able to sustain you by the words of his power. The Bible says, and the thing pleased the king and he did so. <laughs> the thing, if the thing they recommended against Vesti, it pleased her. Since Vesti, Vesti, who is queen, who is reigning with the king, since he refused to please him, counselors came together and decided to please the king. And what they used to please the king, the king responded to the counselor. And it was so. So it is wise for you and I to start pleasing the ultimate king of kings. <laughs> before some other kings and counselor sit down and judge your case against you because they are available hallelujah I said hallelujah sustaining the bliss of your spiritual royalty he has made you already. When he made you, the Bible says you are complete in him who is the head of all principalities and powers. You are perfectly and wonderfully made. Everything is settled. After you are made, he said everything was good. Everything is nice. Don't mess it up. Sustain it with the word of God. What am I saying today? Pride brought Vesti down. For pride goes before destruction. Am I talking? Lack of restraint brought Eli down because he refused to restrain his children. And unrepentantness, when you are unrepentant, unrepentant attitude and character made Saul to lose the kingdom. What was the first thing I said? What was the second thing? Unrestrained. Unrestrained. You are not restraining. Unrestrained and thirdly what? Unrepentance. Don't forget it. That's the summary of what I've been saying since. What's the first one? Right. What's the second one? Unrestrained. Unrestrained. And number three is what? Unrepentant. Unrepentant. These three things will not allow us to sustain our spiritual bliss. We will not be able to sustain the bliss of spiritual royalty. The, the royalty that God has called us to, they will rob us of it. We will not enjoy spiritual royalty. It will steal it from us. It will destroy it. It will reduce our effect in it. It will slide us out. Pride. Unrepentant attitude. 
and inability to restrain yourself. There is limit to everything. Don't talk too much. Talk small and rest. Don't get angry too long. The Bible says very small today and before the sun goes down, drop the matter. Don't be angry for three days, four days, one week, two weeks. Are you a witch? Are you a devil? Praise God. It's small. Restraint, restraint, restraint. They didn't they say that everything, um, so too much of everything is too bad. Don't overdo things. Don't overdo things. Don't overdo. Just do. Uh, what do we? Moderation. Praise God. I said, praise God. Uh, in our class, we talk about moderation. Praise God. Please, God's people. I know God loves you a lot. But please understand. I know you are laughing there. You know what I'm talking about. Let's moderate the matter. So that we don't go beyond. Praise the Lord. It's a new day for you. We sustain our spiritual uh, 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 the bliss of our spiritual reality. Amen. Amen. Do you understand what God has said today? Do you understand what God has said today? Rise up on your feet and bless the name of the Lord for the word that has come to you today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Begin to pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, pride will not rob me. From today, I take responsibility to live a repentant life. I am to, to repent, not to be stubborn in my ways. Are you praying? In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Mazalinde Rebo Shababa will say, lift up your voice and pray that in the name of Jesus, I don't have any business with pride. The spirit of meekness and humility is my portion in the name of Jesus. Mazela Ronde Bradishta Radiende Lekorobo Shenda Ranza Matinge Lebo Shababa. Lord, I have repented and I'm living a repentant life in the name of Jesus. I will not be caged in unrepentant heart. In the name of Jesus, whatever the Lord says, I say yes, Lord. Everything that the Lord says, I say yes, Lord. Everything that the Lord says, I say yes, Lord. When the Lord says I am wrong, I say yes, Lord. And when the Lord says this is the way to go, I say yes, Lord. Everything that the Lord says, I say yes, Lord. Oh, Mazile Grundini Bashandara Baba. Mazigle, begin to pray in the name of Jesus for this reason I shall not be replaced I shall not be removed my spiritual bliss my the spiritual bliss my spiritual royalty is sustained in the name of Jesus I will enjoy my spiritual royalty the place that God has given me the place that he has placed me no devil can take me out oh Mazinde Lekora Mashanda Rabababa the plans of the enemy will not come to pass in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will take heed to the word of God. I will obey him in everything that I do. In the name of Jesus, I am not a child of disobedience. I am reigning with Christ. Glory be to God. I am reigning with him. In the name of Jesus, the world will serve my need. In the name of Jesus, everything will be working in my favor. In the name of Jesus, there shall be spiritual bliss in my home. Spiritual bliss in my home. Spiritual bliss in my relationship. It shall be peace all over the place. In the mighty name of Jesus, it shall be well with me, well with my home, well with my family, well with my marriage, well with my testimony, it shall be well with my marriage. Hallelujah. It shall be well with my finance. It shall be peace all over. Royalty will speak in my life. I shall not lack anything. For the Lord is my king. For he is my king of king and lord of lord. Oh glory be to God. Blessed be your name forever. Thank you Lord. In Jesus precious name we are praying. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Please understand that from henceforth, your spiritual royalty shall be sustained. As you give heed to this word of God, it shall be well with you.
in your going out and your coming in this season and in this time you will excel you will reign in the name of jesus you will reign with christ in the name of jesus the enemy will not have access into your peace in the name of jesus so shall it be in jesus precious name we are praying well stretch your hands towards this table and begin to ask the lord i receive what it takes to walk in my spiritual royalty i receive what it takes i receive what it takes i receive what it takes go ahead i receive what